What started out as a routine patrol last night turned into a high-speed chase and guns being fired. In the end, police shot and killed two suspects who they say were threatening the lives of officers. Clint Watson was on the scene for the police-involved shooting. It's another example that police-led special operations could have positive or deadly consequences. In fact, early this morning around 2.15, as officers were carrying out yet another operation in the eastern area of the capital, they discovered in Highbury Park a small dark vehicle with occupants acting suspiciously. Officers pursued the vehicle which gave chase, making several maneuvers through various corners, but it was at the junction of St. Michael's Road and Prince Charles Drive near Burger King, which happened to be under construction, that the drama took a fatal turn. The passenger of this vehicle exited a brandishing a handgun pointed in the direction of the officers who in turn opened fire on the suspect. He was fatally shot. The officers attempted to stop the vehicle that the suspect came from and the driver attempted to overrun the police officers who in turn opened fire on the vehicle resulting in the driver of the vehicle being shot fatally. Uh, two additional persons were arrested. Her Majesty's Coroner Linda Virgil was on the scene, particularly as this matter will call for an inquest. Cameraman Valentino Benier was able to obtain close-up footage as officials processed the scene. ZNS News asked Assistant Commissioner of Police for Crime, Anthony Ferguson, if he was satisfied how his officers responded. All I will say at the moment is that we have an active investigation ongoing, and I would like for the investigation to be concluded before I offer any further comments on that. Illegal firearms are a major problem, but police say they won't stop their efforts in detecting where these arms are. On any given morning, officers uh, take um, any amount of firearms off the street. And again, um, as you see, poisons are just driving about our streets with firearm, and the police is very, very vigilant. And you will find moving forward, the police will continue to target uh, criminals persons who believe that they can run up and down the street. It is very important that we continue to make the, the Bahamas a safe place for persons to work, visit and play. These routine operations conducted by police are said to be yielding significant results, although in these crime-challenging times, they're proving more dangerous as the risk increases. Each time that you go on the streets, you have to be aware that anything can happen. And so therefore, a police officer has to be alert. And that is the training. And uh, as we continue to move forward, um, I wish to say that criminals can be on the light, that police will continue to target them. Uh, there's no hiding place for criminals in this, in this Commonwealth of the Bahamas. And we'll continue to target them, arrest them where necessary. As for the public, police had this to say if you are stopped during their routine checks. If you do nothing, you fear nothing. Now we can tell you that a firearm was recovered in this incident. However, these deaths are not being classified as murders. They are homicides, but because they are police-involved shootings, they're not called murders. Police continue to investigate. Clint Watson, ZNS News.